Hey, this is Dan at Pro Poker Tools. In this video, I'm going to take you through uh, ranges of hands with Pro Poker Tools. Uh, we're talking about generic range of hand syntax. And the generic range syntax on Pro Poker Tools has three goals. Um, it's to be powerful, so you can describe lots of different kinds of ranges. Concise, so that you just have to type the bare minimum. And flexible. Um, this is one syntax for all of the games on Pro Poker Tools. A um, little backstory: when I first wrote all of the tools for Pro Poker Tools, each game had its own sort of specialized syntax, and um, the goal here is to sort of supplant those with one syntax to rule them all. That way, if you play multiple games, you just have to learn one thing and you're done. Um, it works both on the odds oracle. Um, so this is where you select it in the odds oracle. And it also works on the website. This is where you select it on the website. So why are we talking about ranges of hands? Well, this is probably obvious to most of you. Um, a range describes a set of possible hands. So here's a, a few examples. You've got a pair of jacks, where there's only one hand possible, where we know the suits or any pair of jacks, there's six of those. Or, you know, any hand with two spades, there's 78 of those. So ranges are used to describe situations where one or more players could have any one of a number of hands. Um, getting into the nuts and bolts of it, um, ranks and suits. So here are the concrete ranks. These are the ones that appear in a deck, concrete suits. And then we also have variables. Um, w, X, Y, and Z are suit variables, and everything else is a rank variable. We'll, we'll get to those later. Um, and finally, there's an any rank, which is the star. A couple examples working with ranks and suits. So uh, A, S, K, H is what you would expect. Ace of spades, king of hearts. J, T, any jack 10, regardless of suits. H, S is a hand with a heart and a hand with a spade. Um, looking at the any rank, um, ace, ace, star, star is any two aces with any two additional ranks. The star means any rank. And then four stars would be any four ranks. Now suit variables is where you can dis describe relationships between suits in a hand. So if you say ace, x, king, x, it's ace, king, suited. The x will take on the value of some suit and it has to be the same everywhere in the hand. Um, similarly, jack x 10 t y is jack 10 offsuit since x is one suit and y is another suit. And then finally we've got 9 c x, so that's 9 of clubs and uh, another card that is not a club, so some other suit x. And then finally we've got rank variables, it's the same idea as suit variables, um, typically used when you want to indicate whether there are pairs or not pairs. For instance, ace, ace, r, r is a pair of aces with another pair. So this r is going to take on some other rank, and then the other r is the same as the other r. So it could be aces and kings, aces and deuces, whatever. And then um, another example, r, o, n, m, that's just four different rank variables. So it's a hand with no pair in it. Some quick rules to keep in mind. Um, suits are always attached to the rank rank variable or star on the left. And if there isn't one, the rank is just assumed to be star. So if you write heart heart, it's equivalent to writing star of heart, star of heart. You don't have to write the star. King of X, X is, ex is exactly as if you had written king of X, star of X. Same rule. The first X goes with the king. The second X doesn't have a rank to attach to, so you put a star there. And then RXS is the same as some rank R of X and then some star of S. If you don't specify a suit, it's assumed to be any suit. So king of spades, jack is a king of spades and a jack of any suit. Uh, third rule, doesn't come up that often, but good to know. Um, uh, variables won't bind to anything that's already been listed in a range. So if you write three of hearts, five of x, the x here can't be hearts. So this means three of hearts and five of something else. Um, similarly, if you write ace, king, R, O, these are rank variables, that means an ace, a king, some other rank, 
and some yet other ranks. So there's four different ranks here with an ace and a king. Um, and finally, one last nice rule for generic syntax. Um, if you're playing a game where the, the cards have, are always, you always have the same number of cards in your hand, like Hold'em or Omaha, um, you don't need to add stars to complete the hand. They're added for you. So in Omaha, Ace, Ace, Star, Star is exactly the same as Ace, Ace. Because uh, we know you've, you're looking for four cards, so when Pro Poker Tools sees just Ace and Ace, it just adds the stars for you. So it just saves some typing. Um, same thing if, you know, you used to write star, 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 star for four random cards. You can just write star now, and that's the same thing. And percent of hands um, is available for Hold'em, Omaha, and Omaha, low, Omaha High Low. Um, very simple, 5% means a hand in the top 5% of all hands, and you can also use ranges for percent, so 20% to 40% is a hand between the top 20 and 40%. Um, if you're curious on how these rankings were created to generate these percent of hands, you can, you can check it out on the blog. Um, and these are useful for just sort of getting a rough estimate of a, of a big range, usually pre-flop. Um, especially in a game like Omaha where there are just so many hands, uh, it's often impractical to list them all. So this, this can give you sort of a, a rough starting point. And uh, that's it for part one. I'll see you on part two.